Can Haylock get a crossover? Better one. And goes Donawa. Dian. Oh, great save. Barham with the kick. Bruce is at the back of the box. Watson at the front. Bruce. Oh, touched over. Into the arms of Cooper. He grabs it with relief. Van Wyck up to Dian. But he turned. Dian. Deflected in. Poor old Ian Cranston. Who could tell what was going to happen to that one? But in fact, Cooper looks as if he had that covered until it hit Cranston's knee. And past it goes off the post. And one Dian one. making a run in. In comes Bruce. Gets it. Deflected in again for another sort of own goal. But they're still at it. Mendon blocked by Cranston and another Ipswich player is down. This time Trevor Putney in the penalty area. Effective since that knock. Sondervan sees that one off. Gates loses it. Asa Hartford, good shot, first time ball to Mark Barham. Up against Cranston. Barham's cross deflected again. And that's away for a corner. Fifth corner for Norwich. And the big ones up, obviously. Watson on the edge of the goal area. Bruce and Dean coming in from the edge of the box. of the day and getting it away it's which looking for something on the counter and Thompson put through by Matby he's through here great chance can Klaus Thompson finish oh what a waste what a waste and what a break what a break that was super ball from Alex Matby great pace from him looking to take the ball and brought down by John Walk and he will he be called back here John Walk well he has been called back in Oh, I can't believe it. He's got a red card. Bowen. Adams nearly got Warden and Curitan, but the flag is up. Flag is up. I would think not against Jamie Curitan, but against Ashley Ward. I think it should be pointed out that Craig Forrest certainly knew the whistle had gone. Here is uh, Adams. Marshall getting in with the interception. That's handy for it, which really that uh, Ian Marshall was out there tonight, a centre back. Otherwise, <laughs> the reshuffle might have been a bit complicated. Yeah, it was a natural thing, wasn't it, for George Bully to do? Ian played many, many times at centre back for Oldham under Joe Royal, and it won't be a problem for him. As I said, a little bit rusty, maybe, but uh, no other problems. Newsom into the channel, good looking ball, and Curitan's got him behind here, Jamie Curitan, yes! Oh yes, for Jamie Curitan, the 19 year old, and for Norwich City, that's what it means to John Dean. and the Canaries are ahead in the big derby. And it's all down to the kid, Marshall lets him go, I said he might be a little bit rusty, that might be the only thing, and how costly that proved to be, just beats Thompson there, one touch, round the goalkeeper, and that's a lovely finish. A very cool head and such young shoulders. There's Lance Thompson. George Bailey was telling me earlier today he was in the Ipswich side here when they won 3-1 here with 
Murin and Tyson in the team and uh, how they'd love to have Murin and Tyson out there now. Even at the age of that, they'd probably still like them out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Neil Adams. Oh, to the near post, and Kirtan's in there again! Oh, Amy's shot is blocked, Ward's got a chance, and it's a goal! Attempts to clear it off the line, flat, and that's 2-0 to Norwich, and Ashley Ward with his 24th goal of the season. City have a corner. Ward trying to get there. Whelan did for Ipswich. Back in again. Oh, and Brown it breaks, and that's a goal for Darinini. It's a goal for Darinini, but a huge thank you to his young teammate, Jamie Curtin. It's down to him that Edie's managed to score. Oh, well, if you're going to play up front in the Premiership, Jamie, you're going to take a few knocks like that. When he gets up, he'll feel it's been worthwhile in. Rounding off our feast of Derby delights is a Portman Road encounter, made memorable by Leon McKenzie's remarkable debut. Portman Road sold out for the first time this season. It's a local affair with nationwide repercussions. These two old rivals are real contenders to be there or thereabouts half a season from now. Early throw towards McKenzie. All right. Svensson. That's a great ball for McKenzie here. Leon McKenzie, faced by John McGreal. Takes him off. Leon McKenzie, cross goal. The face stretching. And couldn't connect. Here's Gary Holt for Norwich now. Holt's ball in. And Wilmer should get this one away. Real pressure. McGreal's cross swung in. Cucci came for handball. Play on, says the referee. Bart Williams. Jermaine Wright swung in towards Bent this time. Alki Nakaya away. And now the break will be on. Ian Henderson. Mackenzie will chase with Wilness. And Wilness back to his goalkeeper. Nakaya won the head. Here's Mackay again. Back in towards McVeigh. Goalkeeper's lost it. Leon McKenzie. On his debut. What a way to start his Norwich career. He opens his account with a goal against Ipswich Town. Those supporters have a brand new hero. His name is Leon McKenzie. Free kick taken quickly. Richards for Kenyago. Kenyago on for Darren Bent here. Real opportunity. Bent still turns well. Green beats it away. Magilton in there. Well, a super save from a super young goalkeeper. Green denies Darren Bent. No foul play on, says Alan Gay. Gary Holt now. Mackenzie ahead of him. Holt will run on, though. Strong run from Gary Holt, this. Roberts to aim for. Mackenzie as well. Here is Leon Mackenzie. His header. It's a dream debut now. A double from Leon Kenzie. And the man from the boxing family may well have delivered the knockout blow in the derby his second his side second and norwich are two goal leaders leon mckenzie a day a match an occasion to save up gary holtz cross here and mckenzie's header beyond the despairing dive of kelvin davis and norwich have doubled their lead norwich lead at portman road by two goals to nil